Chocolate coated ginger biscuits are actually very nice. Can you believe it? Yes you can! Sorry yet again for another foodie start to my videos. For some reason it's normally either tea or now biscuits and chocolate and oh my gosh. Obviously today I'm having the video on Saturday as we're doing it I think a day late each one which is kind of different, kind of weird but for me it feels weird because I'm normally very organised Friday on the dot video upload but today is Saturday and that's very weird for me but the week's theme is actually about books more so fiction and how they really impact our lives and honestly books obviously impact our lives definitely that is a true fact books can impact us and change us as people I'm not going to decide to pick out individual series because I think I need to be more general. I think books in general do impact us, fiction definitely does and actually I think sometimes fiction can impact us a bit more sometimes than non-fiction simply because there's exaggeration there and there's that element of exaggeration where you can explore so many things in one book and learn about so many different things whereas non-fiction is sometimes held back a little bit because it's more believable, obviously it's real. So I actually think fiction can sometimes, not in all cases, but sometimes it can be more impacting than non-fiction. Obviously as well, books build our mental abilities and our intelligence, spelling, grammar, vocab, anything like that, creativity as well. Great if you want to be a writer, but great for general life as well. You know, grammar, spelling, anything like that is all really essential and important. And I think you know, it gets you thinking better mentally and faster and your abilities really do develop and I know a lot of non-readers sometimes disagree but I have to say reading really does impact you and if you do read you're much more intelligent than you would be if you didn't read, if that makes sense. You know, reading really, sometimes you can't tell, you might not realise, but reading does impact you mentally. It's also a proven fact and you cannot defy the science of that. I've kind of said everything that I have to say and everyone else has kind of touched on a lot of different things. Generally, I think it's the mental abilities, the creativity it gives you, but you know, the enjoyment and stuff, it really can change you as well. Sometimes you live so many lives of other people and learn from their mistakes in fictional books. So absolutely fantastic, as you'll already know. But now, as you all know, I do enjoy quotes. I enjoy listing quotes and on Twitter you always see quotes and I love quotes so I thought to end this video let's get some great quotes about reading and its inspiration so my home internet is now not working for some reason it's had mood swings over this last week it really has it's absolutely rubbish so I've got my Kindle right here now I'm just gonna load up some amazing inspirational quotes using the 3G internet which I can get for free so you know that will be good it's loading up Google right now as you can see to read is to fly it is to soar to a point of vantage which gives our view of wide terrains of history human variety ideas shared experience and the fruits of many inquiries the things I want to know are in books my best friend is a man who'll give me a book I ain't read the habit of reading is the only enjoyment where there is no other alloy it lasts when all other pleasures fade this next one's good <laughs> Um, reading without reflecting is like eating without digesting. Oh dear. Right. I suppose that's true. The greatest gift is a passion for reading. Yes, that passion comes back and surprises us. George knows what I mean. Passion. Hooray. Not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. Reading takes us away from home, but more important, it finds homes for us elsewhere. A book is the most effective weapon against intolerance and ignorance. There's loads of quotes on this website, absolutely loads on this website which I'm loading up now and they're all absolutely fantastic. Some of them are quite hilarious to be honest. I'm actually gonna, if possible, I will link to that in the description because check them all out. I love quotes but I'm sure a lot of other people do as well and quotes for me are inspirational and inspiring and so interesting actually to read about all these quotes from now and in the past and everything it's great actually they're all really really good and you know in Google just typing quotes about anything I always type in quotes about books, languages, life, 
how to be a better person, anything like that. And, you know, there's loads of them. They're all so inspiring. As you will see on Twitter, I'm always quoting things. However, that is everything for this video. Sorry for the lighting changing throughout and stuff. It is absolutely crazy, to be honest, right now. It keeps going from light to dark and back and forth, and it's absolutely mental. But we have explored the passions of reading in this and absolutely everything. So many quotes, and I love quotes. How many times have I said I love quotes? I really do, though. I think they're really cool. But that is everything. I hope you all enjoyed. Please tell me what you think in the comments, because I'd love to hear that. Have you got any good quotes about reading which you could let me know about? Please go ahead. You know, I'm going to say it again. I love quotes, definitely about reading. So all I have to say is keep reading, keep quoting, keep being awesome, and keep drinking tea, eating ginger biscuits, and everything else that you must do in life. Keep on doing it, or else. Or else I actually have nothing else to say, or else the answer will be revealed next week.